All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be speculating on MLB future expansion after the big news yesterday that Salt Lake City has thrown their name out there as possibly an expansion team once the MLB gets the Oakland and Tampa Bay situation solved. What do I think is going to happen? What are the potential future stadiums looking like? And what is kind of the overall stadium technology? Are they all going retractable? Are, is there going to be domes? Are we going to see any open air stadiums in the future? There's a few different things at play. And I just wanted to kind of take this uh, little article and, and kind of talk about because I do think this is a good example of what's happening right now. So it says the MLB has signaled that it will add two new teams once the A's and Rays stadium situations are settled. The guess here is that the league is headed for Las Vegas and Nashville where a group including former retired MLB pitcher Dave Stewart is working towards an expansion team. But if the A's take advantage of the opportunity to move to Las Vegas, another city could be paired with Nashville. Nashville in a league expansion plan. Cities that are rumored to be interested include Charlotte, Portland, San Antonio, Mexico City, along with other teams. And on Wednesday, Salt Lake City added its name to that list, expressing interest in possibly an expansion team. So with all that said, what is the potential stadiums? What is my prediction on what's going to be happening within the MLB over the next few years? The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Oakland Athletics, whose lease is up in 2024, and I do think they will be moving to Las Vegas. It just makes way too much sense for the MLB. The A's currently do have a stadium uh, rendering and a proposal at Howard Terminal. You guys can take a look at the rendering there. I'm sure many people have already seen it, and this has been something they've tried to get new stadium. It's been rendering after rendering. It's over a decade now. They're trying to get the money for a new stadium. It's just not happening. So I do think at this point with kind of the way it's trending, the A's being virtually stripped down to a, an extension triple A team, they are headed for Vegas. And my prediction on the stadium in Vegas, I don't think this is what it's going to be exactly. This is just kind of a proposal to get an MLB team to Vegas. But you can kind of see the design of this stadium looks pretty small. I would say the capacity of this probably right around 38, maybe 40 thousand at the most. That's kind of the way the MLB is trending and just overall stadiums in general. They're really going to prioritize standing room, social spaces, things like that. Very, very small upper decks. That's another thing they're doing. But the most intriguing thought with Vegas is the potential roof design which I do think might look similar to what happened at Allegiant Stadium or SoFi Stadium where it is a fixed closed roof, but you will get natural light coming into the stadium, possibly with a see-through type roof, as you can see right there. Again, I don't think it'll be retractable. There's not much of a reason to have a retractable roof in Vegas. It's 115 degrees in the summer, so it would virtually be open like two or three times a year, maybe a few more. It just doesn't make sense. This design does look retractable. Maybe they do decide to go with retractable to keep it open in April and September, but either way, you can kind of see, you know, that is the current expectation. I do think the A's are headed for Vegas. That'll be the first big domino. And then the other team, the Tampa Bay Rays, who are in a very similar situation in terms of their stadium. They've had proposal after proposal, rendering after rendering. You can take a look at the latest Tampa Bay Rays stadium rendering. I do think, and maybe this is just me being optimistic, I think the Rays are staying put. Now, I've also said maybe they go to Nashville, but that, you know, it, it's just, it, it's a gut feeling that the right, right now I would say it's 50 50. But there was something that came out in January that said that was good news with the Rays possibly redeveloping an area around Tropicana Field. I know they need to move out of that area overall and out of St. Petersburg because it's a really bad location for, you know, most of the people around there in terms of going to the game. And also, the Trop is just a horrible venue. We all know that. But if they do stay in Florida, 
it's probably going to be a dome. I don't see the Rays footing the bill for a potential extra $300 million, which is what it would cost to have a retractable roof instead of a dome. So it'll be kind of a sim. Basically, I would say a worse version of the Vegas stadium is the Rays' new stadium. It's not going to cost as much. It's going to be a dome, but it's just going to be like maybe even small. Well, definitely smaller. It'll probably be the capacity. The capacity of it, if they actually did a new stadium for the Rays, we're talking like 30,000 legitimately, you know, with virtually no upper deck. So I'm going to say they're staying home and they're not moving. But if they do move, it's the number one spot has to be Nashville. But I have them staying put right now and building a stadium possibly like that. Some type of dome type thing being in Florida with the thunderstorms and stuff like that. You know, you take a look at the Miami Marlins, they have a retractable roof, but it's rarely ever open, so you would certainly need some type of roof to cover the stadium overall. And then getting to the expansion cities, so uh, there's definitely a lot to choose from. You have Portland, we're going to take a look at their proposal right there. They kind of have a unique thing where they've got a retractable roof right on the water with a see-through top almost with like a plexiglass type roof that's going to let in natural light, a very small upper deck, almost like a capacity of 32,000 or something. That is the Portland proposal. I do think there are significant issues with an MLB team going to Portland. So I would say Portland is pretty down on the list. Another place that's probably pretty down for me is Montreal. So there's always been this idea. It's kind of died down in the past year, but there's always been an idea of the MLB going back to Montreal, getting another team in Canada. You can take a look at one of their recent renderings. This was roughly, I mean, this was like multiple years ago, but this is one of their recent renderings of a potential stadium. I don't see it happening. They left Montreal because they were getting 3,000, 4,000. It's kind of like the Oakland situation. It would be like the A's moving to Vegas and then in 20 years, Oakland trying to get an MLB team. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be great crowds in Montreal that first few years they're back. But after that, after the wear, after the newness wears off, I think you're concerned about the crowds because we saw they left Montreal. They were getting two or 3,000 people per game uh, back when that happened. So I would say Montreal, probably not. Charlotte is a maybe. There's currently no stadium renderings I could find of Charlotte, but I would say possibly. The number one thing when it comes to Charlotte, they've really got to get either renovate Bank of America Stadium or just get a new stadium for the Carolina Panthers because that place is a dump. So I'm going to say it's a maybe. Uh, And then the other places we saw yesterday, Salt Lake City, I'm going to put this one pretty low on my list. I know it's kind of like the new thing, everyone talking about MLB going to Utah. This is kind of a unique design to where it is actually an open air stadium. It has kind of an awning over top. But again, what, what we're seeing with these new stadium designs, it's super small. There's virtually no upper deck to it. I mean, I guess there's two decks, but it's not like... It, it basically looks like an extension minor league stadium. And the thing with Salt Lake City... There's no way they would build any type of outfield seating because you wouldn't want to block the views of the mountains. So that's just an early rendering. I would put potentially Salt Lake City very low on my list in terms of expansion options. And kind of my number one place I see the MLB going in terms of an expansion would be Nashville. If they do not get the Tampa Bay Rays, I do think Nashville will get an expansion MLB team. There are a few different renderings about potential stadiums in Nashville, including Shocker, Music City Baseball releasing stadium renderings of a retractable roof. Of course, every all these new stadiums are having some type of roof, it seems like. But yeah, I see Nashville, you know, they're already getting a new NFL stadium that's going to host a lot of different events. They would be one of the top expansion teams on my list. And it's like, let's say the situation plays out where Oakland becomes Vegas, Tampa Bay stays put, and then if you're the MLB, 
You're looking at two more expansion teams to get you to 32. I'm thinking the MLB, it's going to be one of Charlotte or Nashville. They're going to pick one of those teams. And then maybe they venture and look at a city like Austin, Texas. Although you have to wonder, is there already too many MLB teams in the state of Texas as it is? Would they consider adding another one? Also, they've been talking about San Antonio, but I think if you're talking about Texas, you would much rather, with the way Austin is booming in terms of people moving there, a lot of people from California moving to Austin, Texas right now, it's kind of like the big city to go, to go to in terms of you know the middle of the country. So we'll have to see if the MLB does want another team in Texas. I would say Austin would be the number one place, then San Antonio. And then just taking a look at this map, you can see they've got a team in New Orleans. You know, I, I don't see that happening personally. I haven't heard much about that. They've got a new team in Nashville. And then they do have a team out in Portland. I would put Portland pretty low on the list. Also, they have a team in Charlotte as well. So that would be a bigger expansion. And then they also have Montreal. How many teams do they have? They've got like 45. They got like 35 total teams here. But yeah, that's kind of my expectation. I certainly think A's are going to Vegas. Right now, it's 50-50 on if Tampa Bay stays put or goes to Nashville, and if Tampa Bay stays put, I think Nashville gets an expansion team, and then I think maybe they might look at Austin, Texas, or if they do want to go west, it possibly becomes uh, kind of a, a, a debate between Portland or Salt Lake City, or maybe somewhere else uh, in California. So that's just my current speculation when it comes to the new MLB stadiums. The overall design of them will be limited capacity. I mean, we could be looking at 40,000 at the most in terms of total seats, but a lot of these are, are going to be like 32, 35,000. If Tampa Bay builds a new stadium, it's going to be probably 30,000. If Oakland somehow builds a new stadium, it's going to be 30,000, and it's really going to stress social spaces, standing room areas, drinking rails, all that crap, and then you're also going to have probably three out of the next four new MLB stadiums, maybe all four will be either retractable roofs or domes that have see-through roofs that the NFL is doing to let in natural light. That's kind of, it's almost like the MLB is about two or three years behind the NFL in terms of stadium design when it comes to the roof because we saw Globe Life uh, Field go up and their roof is uh, honestly a bit lacking. So especially for modern stadium design for a stadium that cost a billion dollars. But that's just kind of the expansion outlook, the relocation outlook in the MLB. We'll have to see what ends up happening. I'm sure there'll be a lot of reports. I'm sure there'll be a lot of cities that get listed. But first, we do need some type of rev resolution with both Tampa Bay and Oakland. And, you know, Oakland probably going to Vegas. Tampa Bay maybe staying put, funding a new stadium. And then the wheels start going into motion on expansion. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.